Uh, you want to do some traffic? Traffic. Let's do some traffic. All right. Let's do some traffic. Get tra- these people home. Uh, that's traffic. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> looks like a real rock, <laughs> rock paper, scissors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> way to. That's a way to pass the time in, yeah. uh, in traffic, right? Yeah. Okay. Real traffic. <laughs> Yeah. From the Bar Side Jive Global Traffic Center. Global. Global. Global Traffic Center. And your Bar Side Jive Drive team. Well, Brad, we've got some trouble spots. Oh, okay. Where? Yeah. Let's go first to Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. Music City. Nashville, Tennessee. Where jamming takes on a new meeting during Nashville's rush hour, like right now. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. The Music City's traffic is nothing shy of flat out ugly. Oh. Yeah. Interstate 65, 40, and 24 are at a total standstill. Check your app so you'll know which exits to get off at once you see where your backing starts. And protect (laughs) your sanity by staying in the middle lanes. You can make faster decisions around the trickiest Interstate 40 and Interstate 65 splits around Broadway, 2nd Avenue, and Demon Brown. Demon Brown. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, DeBron. Yeah, Yeah, Demon Brown, it looks like. Sounds cool. Demon Brown. Something like that, yeah. And along the Interstate 440 and Interstate 840 beltways, keep in mind, while drivers in more type A cities can be scarcely bothered to stop at red traffic lights, let alone yellow ones, the more laid-back city of Nashville, Tennessee, has gained a reputation for its driver's tendencies to stop at and often even sit through green traffic lights, (laughs) which would drive me freaking crazy. Yeah, I can't do that. No, me either. So a word of caution to you Nashville drivers, be careful at intersections. You never know who might be coming the other way, and it's not that they are lazy or oblivious or just plain dumb (laughs) or maybe just a little lackadaisical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Well, Cameron Bailey, a homeless man who relies on the offerings of warm-hearted strangers at the busy East Nashville street corner he frequents, says... Why should our actions be dictated by color anyway, he said. Oh, no. People should go or not go with their hearts. <laughs> well, dude, he just wants them to hang out at the intersection so he can get more money. Look where like, look, They look, got more time to dig for the dollars. Yeah, look where that got him out on the street corner. Right, just right. Went with the actions of his yeah. heart. He's probably making more money than most people per Could year. Be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Nashville, I guess, wouldn't be a bad place to do that, I guess. I don't know. No, no. But let's move out of Nashville. Let's, yeah, let's go to do. let's go to Rio de Janeiro. Rio. Yeah, let's go to Rio. So down in our neighbors to the south in Rio de Janeiro, also known as the Marvelous City, they say, they are just coming out of rush hour in a city that is currently 47% congested and anything but marvelous to drive in. <laughs> and if you're on the President Dutra Highway, BR116, take note that it is one of the most dangerous and mortal roads in all of Brazil. Hmm. That's right, Brad. BR-116 hmm. is the largest highway in the country, linking Porto Alegre with Rio de Janeiro. The area between these major cities is called Rodovio de Morte, which means highway <laughs> of death due to its many accidents. The stat statistics no longer surprise the locals. They've already got accustomed to the daily accidents on the road. Seriously, the fatalities here are distressingly common. Foreign visitors are urged to be cautious on the BR-116, and the dangerous area Rodovio de Morte is recommended to be deleted from all recommended tourist routes. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. I was listening to uh, Duran Duran Rio this morning. (laughs) So That's a good segue. It is. Yeah, (laughs) because we're going to talk about Duran Duran a little bit later. Oh, cool. Yeah. So out west... Back in the USA, let's go Route 491, guys. Now, this is some kind of mystical stretch of asphalt. The locals call this 200 miles of roadway meandering from the city of Monticello, Utah, and extends all the way to the city of Gallup, New Mexico. Hmm. The Devil's Highway, as it's called by locals, is absolutely unremarkable. Unremarkable, meaning it is difficult to find dangerous turns, complex traffic interchanges, and poor surface. 
However, each year, each year, the top class highway with an abundance of straight and long sections becomes a place of terrible accidents, the cause of which cannot be understood or explained. Many individuals who have experienced traffic accidents on this road tell extraordinary stories about an eerie black limousine. Hey. Yeah. Similar to those that can be seen in the 1930s. This mysterious car charges mainly the trucks. Good. <laughs> yeah. The, the local authorities now have not been able to find the offender. Uh, the motorists that travel this highway often express the fact that the mysterious limousine appears quite suddenly and disappears just as suddenly, transforming completely into thin air. The black limousine is not the only mystical hallucination faced by motorists here. Quite often the reason for accidents are large dogs that attack the cars and also have a way of disappearing out of sight. That this is this wow, this that's is true. Some big dogs. That is a big dog. It is noteworthy that during a road inventory, the mystical route was named six six six. Uh huh. On request of local residents, the Devil's Highway was renamed four ninety one. But the renaming had no effect on the amount of mystical fatalities and accidents. Wow. Remember that movie in the 70s, The Car? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christine? Cool. Yeah, Christine. There was Christine. Christine. But, there's been several. Mm -hmm, but The Car was it was that black car. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a great movie. It was a good movie. Yeah. In fact, I saw uh, Christine was up on Netflix here recently. Really? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, got a little more traffic for you, Brad. Okay. I know, you're, I know you're ready. I am. So... Uh, Gallup, New Mexico. Gallup. Currently, the New Mexico State, now that's where 491 goes through. Gallup. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, the state police are keeping traffic out of Gallup and are directing southbound travelers on 491, which we just talked about, mm -hmm. the Devil's Highway, yep. on a 78-mile detour oh. through the Navajo Nation. 78-mile detour. New Mexico Governor Michelle Luan Grisham on Friday granted outgoing Gallup Mayor Jack McKinney's emergency request to lock down the city for the weekend as the number of COVID-19 cases in McKinley County spiraled up alarmingly. This is no joke here. Yeah. State police converged on the city of 22,000 people. Right. Residents around noon on last Friday and blocked roadways going into Gallup, including Route 491, which enters the city on the north end and runs through a few miles of town before joining I-40. Grisham invoked New Mexico's Riot Control Act to order all roads in Gallup closed to all non-residential travelers. The three-day closure also orders all businesses in Gallup to close from 5 p.m. through 8 a.m. Wow. Vehicles in the city are required to have a maximum of two occupants. As of Saturday afternoon, the number of Confirmed coronavirus cases in McKinley County, according to the New Mexico Department of Health, is 1,064 with only 20 deaths. Wow. Scary, huh? So you can only have a maximum of two people in the car. Yeah, scary, what if, huh? What if you got a family of four? Two. You got to leave your kids out on the road? I, I, I guess. <laughs> it's a freaking... That's stupid is what that it's is. It's a freaking government stupid. takeover. It's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like yeah, it. I don't like it either. I Stupid. don't like it. Yeah. Well, guys, that's global traffic from your Barside Job Drive team. And now a word from one of our sponsors. Legend in their own time comes back to Texas for the biggest concert event of the season. Spend an evening with Led Zeppelin on March 3rd at the Tarrant County Convention Center in Fort Worth. The unbelievable Led Zeppelin returns. Good seats for Led Zeppelin are going fast at all of your alley stores, all record warehouses, and hot rocks in Fort Worth. Led Zeppelin from Concerts West. HighJiveLive.com. The zoo, the zoo gives you rock for the senses. For the senses. For the 
listen.